Hi, this is Tim with Bird Appliance. Today we're looking at a top freezer, bottom fridge. This could be almost any top freezer, bottom fridge. And we're looking at a refrigerator that's not running at all. So when you open it up here, you don't hear the fan running. Uh, again, this has to be a style that uh, you don't have any LEDs on. You're going to want to have the style. It just has a control that you can do by hand, by twisting it, or by running it sideways, some type of... Uh, mechanical control, not an LED or push button control. But anyway, you can see the lights are on, so you're pretty sure it's got the right power. And when you open the top, you should hear a fan blowing, if it's not cold at all. Um, also, you should hear something running in the back, your compressor, and there's another fan in the back. All that should be running when it's warm. There's only two reasons why that's not going to happen. If uh, if you hear the fans running and it's not getting uh, it's not getting cold, that's another issue. But we're not going to talk about it in this video. If you hear the fans not running, you don't hear the compressor running. Then you have two things. One is going to be the cold control. That's the actual thing you spin that changes the temperature. And also, it could be the defrost timer. In this a refrigerator, it's located in the same section. We're going to let you get a good look at where this is. All right, if you look in here, right up there, there's a little uh, plastic or rubber piece. It's got some catches. That's called your defrost timer. What that does is cycles the refrigerator from the cooling side to the defrost side. And sometimes that motor in there gets fried or uh, the little links in there aren't able to catch and can't draw a current. In this case, we're going to try to test this one. And the way you do that is you just get in there where the grooves are line up a flathead screwdriver and spin it. And it takes a second. And if you turn it just a few and it turns on, which you can hear it turn on now, you can see the fans running now. Then what's happened is the defrost timer got stuck. And uh, sometimes you can just hit it and it'll start again. That means you have a bad defrost timer. You can try to do this a few times with the screwdriver. But you need to replace this, so we'll show you how to do that. The only other thing it can be is the cold control. Uh, this one you just want to, it's, it's harder to test, but uh, so try the defrost timer first. Uh, if it's not that, we'll show you another way to test this as well. Another quick note on the defrost timer, usually it's inside these plastic housings. Sometimes it's down in this section or this section on the frame or in the back near the uh, compressor and condenser. You're just going to have to look around. Uh, it's going to look something about this size. It's going to have these four terminals on it. This is a universal style. We'll show you what the other one looks like. But that's what you're going to be looking for. So here we're looking at the defrost timer and there is the cold control we were talking about earlier. We already know that it's the defrost timer just because it was stuck in that place. We got it cranked up and running. Uh, it was just stuck it's just gonna, that's going to continue to happen. I'm just going to show you real quick how to test if it is the cold control. And you're going to want to unplug your refrigerator from this point forward so that you can replace this and we'll show you this. Alright, really quickly on your cold control, all this is, is an on-off switch. It's got a little capillary tube, works like a thermometer. It turns it, uh, the compressor on and off, but when it goes, it either opens completely or it, it shorts itself and never turns off. The way you would check that just pull one of these terminals off. Remember this is unplugged. Sometimes they're on there pretty good. You may need a pair of pliers, needle nose. You don't want to damage anything. Just be gentle. There you go. You got one exposed, the other one down here, you want to use a multimeter if you have one. If you don't, it's not going to be easy to test this. You want to put your multimeter to ohms or to continuity. Either one will work. Right now it's in the on position, so we've got it in the colder. It should be zero. And we are at zero on ours, that's why you hear the beeping. If you have it open or OL, that's a problem. Just test it the other way. Turn it all the way to off. At this point, it should be open. 
and we're still open. If you have continuity here, which means zero or some low no number ohms, that's broken. It, that would be something that would keep the refrigerator constantly on. All right, we're going to go ahead and pull the defrost timer out. You can do this yourself. Just order the part that's designed for your fridge. There's two screws here that hold it in place. You'll just pull this piece out, replace it with the other, and put it back together. Put everything back the way you found it, and your fridge should be working fine. Thanks again. This is Tim with Bird Appliance.